My very first favorite composer was Mozart when I was five years old, when I just started playing piano. So when I became seven, it became Chopin. And so far, he is my favorite composer and takes a very special place in my repertoire as well. I just find his music very sincere, passionate, and spiritual, it's very beautiful and lyrical. So there is no way I could avoid of thinking and taking part in this competition. I think I started preparing very long ago when I first played my first Chopin piece I've ever played. That was, I think, that was either Etude Opus 25 number two or three exercises. I don't remember which one was the very first. Then those were two impromptu, number one and number four, the fantasy impromptu. So I think a long time ago, so when I was seven years old, I started preparing for this competition because it takes some time to build up the knowledge and the feelings to be ready to perform on such an occasion. Inspired that it is our profession that we have to, in a way, make money out of it, and it has to be also, you know, we have to consider it as our work. We have to continue loving music more and more. So whilst for an amateur musician, it is very easy to love music because it's obviously what they do. For us, despite all the difficulties we made, you know, which are, connected with our life of traveling and playing concerts in whichever state. We have to really dedicate our soul to music and never forget about that. That's what we are for. When I play the piano, I feel the pure joy and happiness. No matter what happens in my life, it just makes me calm makes me feeling better and makes me feeling, so to say, complete. So when I start playing, I feel that in, I'm in peace, that everything as it has to be. I feel very natural. I really hope that when I die, I will know the answer to this question. <laughs> Maybe he will tell me there. That is a very difficult thing. I think everybody who dare to play Chopin, he thinks it in his own way, and probably no way is right. It either moves listeners' uh, souls or, or it doesn't. So I think if Chopin, you know, if the interpretation of Chopin piece makes people cry, then probably it is right. If it doesn't, and probably it's not. Personal taste and the purity of the taste is probably the limit, but there should be no limit in the feelings which performers have to put into the music. No limitation in, uh, of the feelings of the patient and of the, of, you know, of the sincerity to be put in this music. Taking part in the Chopin competition will, of course, give me a lot of experience, a lot of happiness, because already, you know, just touching this amount of Chopin music makes me very happy. And competing with such great musicians, just being with them, the same, you know, the, the same event, gives a lot of experience and of course, you know, just thinking that I'm performing, you know, close to somebody who will be the winner of this competition is already a big honor. Love, joy, responsibility.